Welcome back. Zach Norvell announced earlier today at an Atlanta Hawks workout that he intends to stay in the NBA draft and not return to Gonzaga. This has a ton of implications for Gonzaga's roster, but first we're going to take a look at what roster Norvell could end up on next year. Let's get this out of the way first. Nor Norvell is definitely rolling the dice on himself here. He is currently not ranked as one of the top 100 players available by ESPN or in the top 25 shooting guards. He also was not listed on dra NBA draft.net's draft board that was published April 30th or NBA draft rooms draft board that was published on April 25th. These things could change though depending upon the fact that a when these drafts were published a lot of people thought that Norvell was coming back to school and B he has an opportunity to up his draft stock at the combine. Norvell was ranked on Sports Illustrated's draft board going to the Sixers with the 44th pick that was published on April 9th. He also appears on the Athletics Sam Vecini's top 100 players that was published today at 37th. Obviously Norvell is all over the board, but I'm comfortable saying that he is not going to go in the first round. On to our next topic. What does this mean for Gonzaga? Well, they now have lost four of their five starters from last season. Just an aside, I don't think this bodes well for Killian Tilly. I think he sees all of his teammates leaving and decides to do the same thing, but maybe I'm wrong. Norvell averaged 15 points per game last season and was the Zags sharpshooter from three. He shot 37% on the season overall. However, in his final five games with the Zags, he only shot 27% and went, went 10 of 37 from beyond the arc. He also had 13 turnovers in those five games. Not fantastic. What this means for the squad for next year is say hello to the Corey Kispert era in the backcourt. The good news is, is that I think he's ready to lead this team and I think he's poised for a big season. But who could fill Norvell's role at shooting guard is a pretty big question. Do you put grad transfer Admon Gilder into that role since that is what he primarily played at Texas A&M? But then who's going to play the point guard? Because no one on this roster has proven they're ready for that. Here's the thing. No one on this roster has proven they're ready to step into Norvell's shoes either. There isn't a clear heir apparent on the team there. In terms of recruits, the only person I could really see sliding into that shooting guard position is four-star guard Martinez Arlaskis, or you could slide Kispert into the shooting guard position and have Anton Watson out on the perimeter. But this is truly going to be fascinating to watch. This leads us to the other way that Norvell's departure impacts the team, the scholarship situation. This is quite a conundrum for the staff now if Killian Tilly decides to come back. Here's why. The staff has already had shooting guard David Jenkins Jr. come visit campus. Norvell leaving clears the way for him to commit because all of Gonzaga's scholarships were taken if Norvell and Tilly came back to the squad. However, Jenkins has to sit out a year and Gonzaga obviously needs help at shooting guard right now. You know who could solve Gonzaga's woes at shooting guard? Class of 2020 commit Dominic Harris, who's been campaigning pretty hard on Twitter to reclassify and come to Gonzaga a year early. The question is this, if you only have one scholarship to give out, do you give it to the talented transfer who's already been to campus but has to sit out a year, or do you give it to the player who has already verbally committed to the school but the staff was counting on coming a year later. And if you give that scholarship to the player who has to sit out a year, do you upset your highly t coveted recruit who's been nothing but loyal to the school during this whole process? Obviously, this whole situation is resolved if Tilly decides to leave and that opens up two scholarships. But Norvell's decision now sets up some of the most interesting weeks in the Gonzaga basketball offseason ever. By the way, Killian Tilly has until May 29th to make his decision.